Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Stephen Clark and friends here. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, no matter where you are. So, what have we got today? 40 plus sellers arrested for overpricing medical masks in Thailand. Thailand is to produce 1 million face masks daily to tackle a shortage. The virus fear creates a toilet paper buying frenzy in Australia. Virus impact in China wipes out 50 billion off its exports. A man arrested for putting a camera in a public toilet in Thailand. The Thai Army's T-84 Oplet battle tank. What is the delay and what happened? A wannabe American porn star arrested on an overstay. But first up, 40 sellers arrested for overpricing medical masks. Over 40 sellers arrested for overpricing medical masks. A police major general from the Consumer Protection Police Division gave orders to a police colonel and other related officials from the Ministry of Commerce and other departments of internal trade to set up protection measures against highly overpriced medical mask sellers. Six teams were set up and together they were able to arrest 40 plus sellers in Bangkok. The team went across Thailand's capital in search of overpriced medical mask sellers. Together they arrested over 40 people. Evidence included 11,993 medical masks all were being sold above 10 times the market price before the coronavirus situation started. Officials also arrested two other suspects selling overpriced medical masks via online with evidence including 4,350 medical masks worth about 66,000 Thai baht. The sellers were charged with selling the medical masks at overpriced price tags, selling items without clearly displaying the price, and hoarding controlled products without reasonable purpose. All of the suspects have been sent to the Consumer Protection Police Division for further prosecution. Before the big arrest, the CDDP went to inspect seven pharmacies in Bangkok and discovered that two were not clearly displaying the price of medical masks and they were overpricing the masks. The two sellers have been arrested and sent to the Bangkok Noi Police for further prosecution. As for the update on used medical masks being recycled and resold as brand new masks, there were three arrests made. The three suspects would wash the used masks and iron the masks to lay flat before placing them into paper boxes to look brand new. The suspects have admitted that over 200,000 used medical masks have been sold and put out into the market. The three suspects sold the masks at three baht each. The suspects claim that usually they don't plan to do things like this. But because so many consumers were searching for medical masks, they decided to recycle used masks and sell them to buyers believing it was a new mask. The products were very easy to sell and they didn't realize it was illegal. Well, there you go, thinking that you are protected by wearing a mask and you're not because it's second hand. Bangkok. The government will conduct investigations from retailers to manufacturers to determine the cause of the face mask shortage in an attempt to solve this problem, said Prime Minister General Prayat Chinachup. According to initial information, he said more than 1 million face masks are produced daily. About 300,000 pieces are sold to public health ministry for distribution to medical personnel at state-run hospitals. 
and shops of the government pharmaceutical organisation. The government will probe over the rest of the 700,000 face masks or whether the disappearance of the face masks is related to hoarding or exporting to other countries, mainly back to China. The Premier said the government is trying to curb the face mask prices at 2.5 baht apiece. However, he stated the raw materials have to be imported from China, Taiwan and Indonesia and every country also needs face masks for protection. He then ordered the Board of Investment to consider the feasibility to expand face mask manufacturing factories and to produce raw materials domestically, which would be great news for Thailand, not depending on outside help for face masks. For the Prime Minister, a great step forward and a great burden lifted from the Thai people. The coronavirus causes a large frenzy of buying in Australia. Yes, it's a rush on Australian toilet paper, which is largely produced locally. And guess what? It can't be explained why. It appears to be at odds with stockpiles of long-lasting dry goods like in other countries. Other countries are going out buying masks. Australians are using toilet paper for some reason. As the coronavirus fears spread across the world, the Australian people have been rushing to grocery stores to hoard dry goods. However, in Australia, shoppers seem to be more concerned about having clean bums. The Australians are interested in racing to grocery chains and buying hordes of toilet paper, not dry goods. Australia's biggest grocery chain, Woolworths, has had to put limits on purchases of toilet paper amid panic buying. The panic buying started when Australians were posting on social media empty shelves in supermarkets with no toilet paper. The Australian supermarket chain Woolworths has put restrictions and limits of four packs of toilet paper per shopper, including online shoppers to ensure every Australian has a clean bum. So when you would be travellers to Australia, make sure you pack your own toilet paper. Hello there, if you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like. It helps us out a hell of a lot. Be most appreciated. And now back to the video. News in from China and the coronavirus outbreak that will slash global exports by $50 billion in the upcoming months, a UN economist has stated. A fresh report from the UN Conference on Trade and Investments and Development said the European Union, the United States and Japan will be hardest hit by export cuts. The new coronavirus, which has now infected more than 92,000 people globally and has claimed the lives of 3,200 has the potential to slow down the Chinese economy as well as other economies worldwide. The study pointed out that the Chinese role as a central manufacturing hub for many global businesses means that any distribution of Chinese output is expected to have repercussions elsewhere through regional and global value chains. Around 20% of the global trade manufactured intermediate products now come from China, compared with only 4% in 2002. Last month alone, China's manufacturing activities all but ground to a halt as countries went into lockdown over the coronavirus. And the coronavirus is pointing towards a global recession worldwide. This is an interesting story takes Thailand vlogging to a whole new level. A man arrested for putting a camera in a public toilet. An IT worker was arrested in Pathamthani for allegedly setting up spy cameras in a woman's public restroom in a bid to sell the videos on social media. A 23-year-old was arrested at his residence in Klong Long district after the parents of the victims lodged complaints with the Technology Crime Suppression Division TCSD about clips of their daughter online according to the deputy commander. He told the media that Mr. Nituwat admitted he had recorded about 1,770 clips of several victims which were uploaded on a Russian social media network VK. He said Mr. Nituwat created at least three accounts. Two of the accounts would be used to show previews such as photos and half-length video clips attracting viewers. Meanwhile, the third account 
would charge interested parties 350 Thai baht to watch the full version of the clips in private groups. Mr. Nitawat was charged with violating the Computer Crimes Act and faces up to 10 years jail in prison or a fine of up to 200,000 Thai baht. Very, very naughty boy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in Thailand and you're going to the toilet, don't forget to smile. Johnny, so I am reporting. As we watched the future forward party dissolve into dust, a little bit of dust has arisen as questions have been asked of the government, as in tanks ordered from the Ukraine. Back in 2017, a delegation of over 30 diplomats went to the Ukraine to check out the tanks and other business. Well, it's come to light that after four years or more of delays and things like that, the actual contract is a third party contract. And some of the times uh, of ordering these, this equipment to replace older equipment uh, that has been failing it goes back to when, I'll get the wording right. Um, we had the, what was it, the national, just before the 2011 coup, right? The, the, the National Council of Peace and Order. Now they came to being in 2014. Uh, the procurement for these tanks with differing time spans, we're talking 2017, we're talking 2011, uh, it seems interesting, so maybe, just maybe, the, uh, the Court of Constitutional Values or whatever will be looking at some of the dust from this little expose. Maybe there'll be more than one political party that will yield before the court. Anyhow, something to think about. Johnny out. This is a good story. It has a happy ending. A foreigner making porn in Thailand arrested on overstay. Would you believe that? Want to be American porn star? A 31 year old American man was caught making a porn movie when immigration police came knocking after being informed by the hotel he was using it as a location for his latest X-rated movie that he had overstayed his visa. Matthew Antonio Rodriguez was caught by police with his pants down and the camera rolling as he was shooting a scene with a 20 year old Hungarian blonde, Katabra Costa, on Tuesday evening at a hotel in Anang Prabi. What they found going on behind closed doors was something quite, well, quite unexpected. Lights, camera, equipment, webcams, laptops and mobile phones were all seized as they were being used by the American in the production of a porn movie for sale and live streaming on their website fucking paradise cut that out quick Rodriguez was charged with overstaying his visa by 256 days oops and along with Katabra for working illegally in Thailand plus numerous other charges related to making and distributing pornographic film Thai authorities don't like it when you take jobs away from local Thais without the appropriate visa the pair were remanded pending further legal proceedings Police grabbed a few beers and so forth and uh, and made them reenact their terrible crime. No, they didn't. The police didn't do that. I, I just added it in to make the story more juicy. <laughs>